What's up, Benjamin? Hi. Hi, and welcome back to another instalment in our boot camp series. And this time, we're going to be checking out uh, what the just the uh, army recruits go through at boot camp. <laughs> So last time we checked out the US Marines. Yeah. And that looked like it was pretty. It was hectic. It was intense. It was. Uh, the one that the thing that stuck uh, stuck in my mind the most was the gas chamber. Yeah. Yes. That and was... how they came around the snot just everywhere. <laughs> yeah, that was pretty intense. The visuals. Yeah. <laughs> so I have no idea what to expect. I don't know if I, I don't know if this is tougher or easier than the um the Marines. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, there's def and it's actually quite hard to find good videos on this boot camp stuff. So yeah. that's, that's the reason why we've taken a while to do the second instalment. So if you've got a good one, just link it because we do check the comments. Yeah. So yeah, like I said, it's quite hard to find videos on this. But I think paratroopers is probably one of the next ones that we're going to do. Yeah. Um, I think that's a is that a branch of the Air Force? I have no idea. I no idea. Know. I don't. We don't know. Send us a link if you've got a good video. Yeah, it's time to find out. Anyway, let's check it out. The Army recruits boot camp. Why are you moving? Wow. It looks like he's about to cry. This Army Boot Camp. Before they join the United States Army, all recruits have to graduate from a 22 week program known as One Station Unit Training. Also known as OSIT. It happens here wow. at Fort Benning, a 182,000 acre military installation that straddles the Alabama Georgia border about 100 miles southwest of Atlanta. Every year, more than 18,000 soldiers graduate before joining the more than 470,000 people actively serving in the Army. 13, 14, 15. Although most of the recruits that we saw during our time there were male, recruits trained together in gender integrated platoons. These young men and women that volunteer to serve, they show up to us as civilians, and then we take them through a transformative process to turn them into soldiers. You just go to the position of attention, and you stay at the position of attention. On a rain-soaked week in February, we spent four days inside the Army's Maneuver Center of Excellence, which trains soldiers to serve in the infantry and armor branches. We saw different companies at various stages of training. Ooh, it's like a SWAT team. On day one, new infantry recruits on a bus from the Atlanta airport arrive at the 30th AG Battalion headquarters, where all new recruits are received. age to enlist in the army is 17 and the maximum age is 35. The base salary for an entry-level private is about $20,000 a year. Let's go! 30 seconds! Hurry up! Find your bag! Once they're off the bus, the first order of business is establishing the code of conduct. I promise you, if you don't pay attention to what I'm about to tell you, you're going to make your army career very short. You treat everybody with dignity and respect, regardless of race, religion, color, national origin, gender, sexual orientation, and all other protected categories. Yes? Yes, yes sir, Sergeant! Sexual assault is any unwanted physical contact in a sexual nature. So if you put your hands on another individual and you're not instructed to or you're not saving their life, and they file sexual assault, and it comes down that you put your hands on this individual when you weren't supposed to, that is going to be on you. You will get kicked out of the military, and then you'll probably have to file as a registered sex offender. Do you understand? Yes, Mr. Sergeant! Before they go inside, the new recruits learn some basic commands and standing positions. Up, stand tight! Everyone look down at their toes. You should be able to fit a slice of pizza in between your toes. If you look around, 
around. They're going to see you. Because you're taller than everyone else. Quickly. <laughs> wow. How dare you be tall. He was just going on about like all that like equality and everything. And then he yells at some of them being tall. Grab the snack that's waiting for them inside. Consisting of a fruit cup, sunflower seeds, a granola bar, and a juice box. Watch the videos remain safe. Since 1775, the Army has been the bearer of our nation's strength in every crisis or conflict. Make no mistake about it, the journey you are embarking upon will not be easy. But you wouldn't be here if we didn't think you couldn't meet the challenge. This is not your last for your social. After being welcomed, recruits begin what's known as processing, which can take one to two weeks before their actual training begins. In a little bit, we're giving you a period to go in a room by yourself. First, they're given one last chance to discreetly dispose of prohibited contraband, like drugs, alcohol, tobacco, and inappropriate photographs. If any photo you possess on your phone is less than a bathing suit, you will not have it. You will delete them all. Recruits get rid of contraband in an amnesty room. Yeah, absolutely no they dispose direction. of it by throwing it down a metal chute. Is anybody confused on what you can and cannot have? The next morning, the recruits report to the barber shop, where one barber has worked at Fort Benning for almost 60 years. Wow. I've been here ever since 1963. Whoa. That's a long time. Wow. I should have been a retired a long time ago. But I wake up in the morning now. We want to come out here and go to work. Recruits are issued uniforms. They receive a series of immunizations and vaccines. And get their official photo taken, along with myriad housekeeping details that fill up their one to two week stay in processing. Hey, sit up straight. That is, until processing oh, ends. looks like he wants sleep real bad. Mm. And the time for training finally arrives. I'm tired. Go. Mm. We found a company of recruits about to begin training in the armor school. Build a bridle! These recruits are about to be picked up and taken to their barracks, where they'll reside for the rest of their training. Let's go! You guys are one of the front class go! This is the last chance for recruits to change their minds before training begins. Like one recruit who decided to stay behind. This short bus ride from processing to their new barracks will be the most peaceful moments these recruits will experience for a while. What happens next is known as the shark attack. Well, it's really just a little shock to the system so we can break them down to build them back up. We're breaking a lot of habits. <laughs> Uh, from the civilian world and nothing better wow. than a little shock to the system to establish that that drill sergeant is in charge it's to like let Marines. us start yeah. our training. The recruits spend much of the shark attack holding their heavy rucksacks above their heads, which takes a physical toll. Why is that so difficult? You can't pick that back up. You decided to join the army. After about 20 minutes, the intensity begins to subside, and the drill sergeant's tone changes. We only produce the best soldiers in the United States Army. Before training officially begins. Wow. Oh, I kind of hit my head. After the shock <laughs> and awe of the shark attack, things do appear to calm down. Is it a video? It's a movie. We found this group of infantry soldiers in week 11 of their training, practicing on the firing range. The mood was much more relaxed. 
trying to eat up on my lawn. <laughs> and their conversations with their drill sergeants are conducted at normal volumes. Like when this drill sergeant educated the recruits on the meaning of the military expression, ate up. Is a piece of ate up gum good? You don't want something that's ate up, right? You want something fresh, you break the seal, it smells like olive oil, right? Okay. That dynamic changes because we want the soldiers to become more critical thinkers. At that point, we are turning into more coaches and mentors. We dial it back a little bit. So we don't want them frightened. We want them to be comfortable and in a state of mind that is receptive to learning and performing at that level. Up to 241 hours of infantry OSIT are devoted to marksmanship where recruits fire about 2,500 rounds using the M4 carbine, as well as the M249 squad automatic weapon, or SAW. We uh, create lethality. We create expert marksmen at their individual weapons, because as an infantry soldier, that's what we're asking them to do. Uh, the recruits get one of the most painful parts of training out of the way early. Once we check your seal, you will not touch your promat. This group of infantry recruits was exposed to CS gas, or tear gas, in week one of their oh, training. Oh, they have to get it as well. You need to fall in until we tell you to stop. You're going to place your back against the wall. The recruits spend about five minutes inside the gas hut. Oh. Oh. Oh, and oh. exiting the gas hut, the recruits are told to flap their arms like birds. What? to remove excess gas from their uniforms. All right. According to a drill sergeant, the effects of the gas begin to wear off after about four minutes. Ooh, nice. Some training moves indoors, like combatives, where recruits learn hand-to-hand self-defense tactics. We're trying to teach them to uh, achieve a dominant body position. So get out of one negative position and then switch roles so they end up having the upper hand in a fight. During combatives yeah. training, recruits warm up with a particularly painful looking exercise, referred to as the EO. While laying on their backs, they have to engage their core to wiggle across the entire room. <laughs> they use their momentum, shoulder blades, their, their core, to help them create space, warm up the body. Recruits work up a major appetite during training, but Fort Benning is big and they're not always within range of the dining facility. When they're training in the field, recruits are issued MREs, which stands for meal We need, a, we need to do a snack eat. video on those. We need some MREs. with an entree, <laughs> like this vegetarian pasta with taco sauce, along with Whoa. an assortment of items, like mixed fruit, an energy bar, and this instant French vanilla cappuccino. Recruits just add water, shake it up, and enjoy. Wow. Once they're fortified, recruits return to their training. Recruits Sweet. spend up to 60 hours in training known as MOUT, which stands for Military Operations in Urban Terrain. Go left, go left. One man fight, go left. Infantrymen are expected to fight in different types of terrain and survive and win the fight. Right now, they are getting their first taste of uh, what that's like in an urban environment. Go and tea. All right, coming up. In uh, operations across Afghanistan, Iraq, we are conducting clearance operations and uh, it's applicable wherever we go. Boom. It's important for the future soldiers' muscle memory because they are working as a team with minimal communication and they have to understand how that coordination works together. Do it again. After 22 weeks of training, these infantrymen are ready to leave Fort Benning. Friends and family gather to watch their soldiers graduate on NOA Field. I remember that part of the Marines video too. All the family comes. They look like soldiers. They act like soldiers. They're carrying their head high. I have trainees that were not alive when 9-11 happened. I think that's pretty powerful that I still can find American citizens that want to volunteer to serve their country when we continue to ask them to go to combat. Mm. Wow. These new infantrymen don't have long to greet their loved ones. Get on the bus! Or say goodbye to their friends.
before leaving Fort Benning to begin their service in the United States Army. Wow. Wow. Oh, a sniper one. That looks good. Oh, it does. We should check that out sometime, eh? A sniper camp. That, that was intense. intense. That yeah. had my head spinning, honestly. Yeah. I, I think th even more than the last one. Really? Yeah. I'm, I, I think it was a, a level down slightly. Do you? Yeah. I just think that because the stuff with the Marines is much more like, you know, all the big obstacle courses and everything like yeah. that. And also, in this one, they, like, toned it down, whereas the drill sergeants and the Marines were always just yelling yeah, at them and were. yelling and screaming. Yeah. It was just, like, non-stop. Yeah. So, I think, uh, but, I mean, trust me, that's no joke. That that's... was done really well, that that film. Yeah. 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 Also, I think it was quite, uh, that point at the end, how they said, um, you know, a lot of the countries that had quite big armies, they're usually people who are... Um, enlisted or forced, you yeah. know, at a certain age yeah. to join the military. Yeah. Whereas in America, you've still got such a big um, army, but they're all volunteers. Yeah. Which just goes like the, the patriotism and the pride. Huge. Of protecting the country. I wonder what sort of culture there is among the young people that makes them want to volunteer. Like, yeah, yeah. is it, oh, my friend did, so I want to as well? Or is it something that's passed down through the families? Like, yeah. my dad was, so I am as well. Like a generational like thing. Like a generational thing. Yeah. Yeah. Also, also, I noticed with the gas chamber that I, in the Marines, they exited the gas chamber with the mask on. Yes. And they were all pulling them off. Yeah. But in there, they came out of the gas chamber with the mask already off. I know. So that, that would have been... Same <laughs> amount of saliva and... <laughs> More brutal. It's not. <laughs> but if you like that one, guys, make sure you smash the like button. Follow us on Instagram. Yep. Comment down below, like I said before, what other ones we should check out. Subscribe if you haven't already. And we love you guys. We'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.